So children, in this video, we're going to cover question number 1.31. How many significant figures should be present in the answer of the following calculation? You have a question. We have three questions basically. So we will solve one by one and find out how many significant figures are there after you solve each question. So here we have a simple problem 0 0.0286 into 298.15 into 0 0.112 divided by 0 0.5785. Once you solve this, whatever answer you get, how many significant figures are there? That's what we're going to find out. So here there are two methods generally when we solve a problem like this. So normal method is by calculating this and getting your answer and then finding out what the significant figures are. A other method I will tell you what it is. So this when we calculate let's see what the numerator is giving us. So when we solve the numerator part you will get 0 0.9536 divided by numerator denominator is 0 0.5785. And when we write this down, we will get our answer as 0 1.648. This we can round it off and write as 1.645. Now, if you check here, all these are non-zero digits. Therefore, for this particular question, significant figures, number of significant figures is equal to 3. This is by simple calculating method. The other one is to find out which is the least precise term. Now in this question, the least precise term is 0 0.112. So here when we use the other method, we can write least precise term is 0 0.112. If you check this number, it has only three significant figure because at zero before the decimal is not significant as per the rule. So only three significant figures are there. So for this particular number, it has three significant figures. Therefore, the answer will also have three significant figures. So this way, if you're good at identifying the least precise term, you can use that and finally find out. Or if you want, you can still do a normal calculation and get your answer and find what the significant figure are. Both either way, both are correct. Let's see the second question to this. Now the second question for this one is 5 into 5.364. Very simple question. Now here when we do a direct calculation to this, you will get 5 into 5.364 which is by multiplying it you will get 26.82 so if you see here all of these are non-zero digits therefore it has four significant figures that's a simple one right but if you're trying to get uh, a, without the calculation just by looking at the numbers when we write down the question here When we write down the question in this, it is 5.364. In this one, 5 is an exact number. So we're going to leave it off. But this number here, 5.364, that is a second term. If you count the number of significant figures, this has four significant figures. So therefore, answer for this particular question will also have four significant figures. Now, in the last question, which is the third one, here we can write the question. We have 0 0.0125 
plus 0 0.7864 plus 0 0.0215. That is our question. Now here also when you just solve it, just add up all this, your answer is going to be 0 0.8204. Now, if you check here, the zero before the decimal is not significant, whereas these numbers and this zero here is between two non-zero digit. So, we have total of four significant, four significant figures. Now, in this particular question, apart from solving it normally, if you check the number of decimal placing in all these, you have four decimal placing, four decimal placing, and you have four decimal placing. So the least number of decimal places in each term here is four. Least number of decimal places in each term is four. Therefore, answer will have four significant figures. So either method you can use either by normal calculation or if you can identify all these parameters, either way you can solve this particular problem.